All right, baby, we are back with some gold today for our boy Don Davis. You guys know how I love Don Davis on this channel. This guy is the face of MMA. He is the best promoter out there. Everything he says is just ingenious. Nostradamus comes true. He's a fucking hoss. I mean, the guy's a beast, and I love Don Davis, baby. I cannot wait to rip into him today. Boy, did he give me some good material. I was at work just fucking, you know, clenching my fists like the Arthur meme, you know. Couldn't fucking wait to get back and record this for you savages out there. So let's get right into it. Don Davis promoting the Battle of the Giants. Francis Ngannou against El Problemo at the Battle of the Giants pay-per-view. Man, we got some good material. We got some great content coming to you guys right now. Tune in. Let's get it. I don't know. Who in the heck knows? But there's nobody else at UFC is any more compelling than those two guys. It's all just blah, 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 blah. It's John Jones or nobody. <laughs> it's just fucking blah, 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 blah. Nobody's more compelling at UFC than, than those two guys. He's talking about Ryan Bader and Hene Ferreira. Or Ferreira. Rene, Hene, Hanan, Ferreira. Whatever. Who cares? The guy's an amateur. He sucks ass. Go ask Tom Aspinall. Go ask him. Go ask him. Not tw not top 20. Derek Lewis would fuck it off this scrub. Would destroy this mother. Fucking yet done. Get out of here, Tybora. You think Tybora versus Hene Ferreira? Bro, submission first round. Tybora all day. I'm betting the house. Plus 300 Tybora. Bet everything you fucking have. Guy is a scrub. Pull up his record. Blah, 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 blah. That's all the U.S. thing, huh? Sergey Pavlovich isn't as good as Ryan Bader and uh, El Problemo. Volkov, who he looks terrible against Hene Ferreira, who got absolutely smoked by Anton Deliha. Smoked! And Anton Deliha sucks ass, too. He just lost to a fucking light heavyweight. Moldovsky went up in weight and destroyed him. Blah, 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 blah. Just wanted to play this old clip for you guys. Just to just to pound it into your skulls how dumb this guy is. Complete dumbass. It's a fucking dumbass alert here. We got a fucking dumbass here. You know, all this UFC heavyweight back and forth. Bader and Love Problemo is a better fight than anything over there. Oh, yeah. Bader and El Problemo is a better fight than Aspinall Volkov, too. Aspinall gone. Volkov versus gone, too. Uh, fucking Pavlovich versus gone, you know, Tybora versus Pavlovich, or uh, not Tybora, uh, Tuivasa against Pavlovich. Yeah, yeah, Henry Ferreira versus Ryan Bader is better than any of those matchups. Jelton Almeida against John Jones. Jelton Almeida against Tom Aspinall. Oh, yeah, awful. Derek Lewis against Sergey Pavlovich, too. Derek Lewis against Tom Aspinall. All these fights are better than Hene Ferreira, who sucks ass. He's a tall skyscraper motherfucker. Yeah, if he punches you square in the nose, if he punches you in the cheek, if he touches you on the jaw, you're going to go down. He's a big fucking dude. That doesn't mean fuck all when you're trained like a fucking ninja like Tom Aspinall. means nothing. You know how many big dudes are out there? Does that mean they're the baddest on the planet? We can go find Yao Ming. Fucking Shaquille O'Neal, J.J. Watt, Miles Garrett. These guys are massive. There's a reason they call these MMA fighters the baddest on the planet. It's not because they're big. It's because they got skills. Ryan Bader's 42, sucks dick. Sorry about you. Sucks dick. Anyway, let's get into the real new shit. Oh, yeah, by the way, by, by, by the way, while we're sitting here talking about blah, 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 PFL just had to cancel one of their recent fight cards they had to cancel it because they had blah 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 on the card so they had to cancel it but this is what we've been getting out of pfl here this is one of the pfl you know smorgasbord cards they're they're classic uh playoffs you know playoffs i mean playoffs this is one of their mainstays the the tournament you know once you're a champion pfl you're always a champion you're the 2023 world champion forever, Ariel. You don't see this sales pitch forever, forever. What if you're a champion in UFC? You could lose it in a few months. 
<laughs> but here, you're champion forever. Look at this. This is just stacked. I mean, I don't know what you guys are doing on, uh, you know, fucking August 23rd, 2024 at 730 Eastern. But I was locked in, tuned in to this. ESPN Plus, Washington, D.C. I mean, the classic fight crowd in Washington, D.C. Those guys really come out. Brendan Lockney, Dana White fucking scrub ass. Kai Kamaka, UFC cast off. Neiman Gracie, the worst of the Gracie family. Get the fuck out of here. Makamed Umulatov. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Gabriel Braga. <laughs> you suck. Timur Kizrayev, the only good fighter on here. Timur Kizrayev. This guy's a beast. Shamil Mazayev. You're nobody, dude. Mirab. The, the fucking Mirab. The Russian Murab. Mudrab. Mazaranov. Ass. Zero personality. Zero promotion ability, zero public allure, zero casual fans. How is this making money? How is this making money? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's get into the new shit. Let's get into the new shit. So I got a smorgasbord of new material that just dropped featuring our boy Don, our good friend Don Davis. Go follow me on Twitter, by the way. I'm always putting up good shit, funny ass shit. Grab your drinks. Oh, yeah, here's the first one. Just said. This motherfucker, Don Davis, cannot get John Jones' name out of his mouth. He talks about John Jones more than anybody, more than MMA Guru, more than Dana White, more than fucking Daniel Cormier, more than anyone. He has John Jones on his show, on the PFL broadcast. He has John Jones in, you know, mic'd up with headgear on the broadcast with the broadcast team, the announce team. Meanwhile, his number one free agent signing, Francis Ngannou, is sitting in the front row with fucking nobody talking to him. Zero people bringing him up. Oh, Francis, enjoy your sh shitty seat, your crappy seat to watch Larissa Pachanko versus Trash Can. Enjoy that shit. Brendan Lockman, 12th main event in a row. Enjoy. We're going to talk to John Jones. How does that make any sense? How does that make any sense? Do you think Dana White would have done that when he was on the come up? Back in 03, 04, 05, 06, 07, 09, 10, 11, 12. Oh, let me have some Pride guys before they bought Pride. Oh, let me have some, uh, you know, Bellator guys. Let me have Pitbull on my broadcast before I even fucking signed him. Makes no sense, dude. Get your head out of your ass. You're a fucking bum. Bangles suck. This guy is a fucking windbag. Complete, asinine, pompous, Dumbass. Let's see what he has to say. I mean, this has been billed as sort of the li lineal heavy MMA heavyweight title fight. Yeah. If Francis is to come through with this, do we need to see him fight a John Jones down the line to decide who is the number one heavyweight? Yeah, the question about Francis and John Jones, but our focus is on this Saturday. This is the biggest fight. My quality is A1. I mean, there's no echo going on here at fucking PFL. <laughs> what an idiot this guy. In MMA, in heavyweight this year, Francis, yeah. and he left. UFC was the pound for pound number one and the heavyweight champion. <laughs> and M. Ferreira is the biggest rising star in ESPN number five ranked. So this is the fight everybody wants to see. Whoever comes out of this fight is the number one in the market. Okay, number five ranked. There's no fucking way in hell. ESPN MMA heavyweight rankings. There's no way in fucking hell. What is it? This fucking shit right here? There's no chance. There's no fucking chance. Okay. Oh, he's number six. This is that's embarrassing. I mean, that's embarrassing. But he's not number five though. Number six. But that's embarrassing. They have him over Volkov. That is. Where the fuck's Volkov? Did I miss? Oh, there he is. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I got Nemkov over him for sure. Oh, my God. Vadim Nemkov would fucking destroy Hene Ferreira. Would destroy him. No doubt in my mind. What do you guys think? Write down in the comments. Vadim Nemkov, Hene Ferreira. I mean, is that even fucking close? Is that even fucking close? I'd be more excited for Vadim Nemkov against... 
Francis. I forgot they had this motherfucker on the roster. Where is he at, Don? The fuck we doing here? Fucking ridiculous, man. Him against Aganu. He would destroy Hene Fair. Oh. So whoever wants to claim the number one spot goes through the winner of this fight, not for UFC, this fight. So whoever wants to claim that position better be called. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, John Jones is a uh, UFC heavyweight champion, buddy. <laughs> uh, Tom Aspinall, fastest rising star at heavyweight, knocks out everybody. <laughs> Never been stopped by strikes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, Donnie. Okay, Donnie. <laughs> oh, Donnie boy. See, MMA, it's a business, you know. Who cares about, you know, matchmaking fights and going to the proper arenas, you know. I'm going to take a fucking American guy to Paris. And I'm going to take a fucking, uh, you know, Ukrainian guy to Paris as well. And I'm going to match Cedric Dumbe up against uh, Baki, some no-name upcoming rising prospect who's a tank. That'll really get my guy promoted real well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Fucking idiot. On us for Saturday, not calling them. But we've seen it, we have seen in Saudi that there has been a lot of uh, cross promotion with the boxing, the boxing promoters are coming together to make this big fight, isn't it? Would you be open to doing that in, in the future? <laughs> we've said it here now, we want to give fans to get money. That's the best fight to love. Well. Francis Gano has said he'll take on all comes in the European thing. Like John Jones he wants to cement his legacy. There's only one obstacle to that fight, and we know who that is. Yeah, yeah, no shit he wants that fight because he's making no money. He's losing money. I mean, he's putting up shit like I just showed you. I mean, what are we really talking about here? I mean, this, these mega fights, these super events. Look at Fight Matrix. Our, our roster's right there, you know. We got half of the top 50 fighters. Our roster is just right there. Check out Fight Matrix. Yeah, you guys go on Fight Matrix a lot. You guys check that out. That's pretty, you know, according to Don Davis, that's, that's a pretty reputable site, yeah. You guys check out a fucking Fight Matrix, y'all? You know, they got the uh, top 50, 25 of the top 50. So, fucking Fight Matrix, yeah. You know, PFL's right there. You guys are missing out. I mean, we already looked at the bread and lock name. What were you guys up to August 16th? Did you check out this epic card? Impa Kasanganai. Joaquin Buckley's bitch against Jose Josh Sil Silvero, the guy he absolutely smoked in the first fight. This is a rematch. A low-level rematch against a guy he fucking smoked, obliterated this fool. Rob Wilkinson, Israel Adesanya's bitch, against a guy you can't even fucking name, and he got smoked. Michael Dufort. Yeah, you look like fucking Michael Dufort. Clay Collard, the guy who got absolutely obliterated by A.J. McKee. Destroyed. Destroyed. First round, submitted, one second, wasn't even close. And then an amateur in Ali Walsh because he has the Ali name, Muhammad Ali. You guys tuning into this type of shit? I mean, it's epic. Look at Fight Index, man. We're right. We're necking that. Eh? I mean, we're fucking right there. We are the co-leader. The co-leader. 100% co-leader. 100% the co-leader. Let's look at the next clip. Oh, yeah, let's look at this. Oh, Tom Aspinall? <laughs> Don Davis smoking crack again? Yeah, John Jones really needs to cement his legacy by fighting someone from PFL. This dude is a serious joke. What a fucking joker. This guy's an idiot. Jones runs some real competition. Okay. Talk about landing on deaf ears. Read the room, buddy. I mean, this guy's a moron. He's supposed to be talking up Nganu, the lineal champion of the world. The lineal champion, supposedly. Talking him up. All, this guy can't get John Jones' name out of his fucking mouth. What the fuck, dude? John Jones will never, ever, ever fight in the PFL. Newsflash, Don! Wake up! God, fucking Don Davis is a moron, I swear to God. This company... Is going into the ground every interview bit by bit. Yes, sir. John Jones, fade J's with a Z. Fade to J's, bitch. Don proof that drugs are bad for kids. Wow. Couldn't have said it any better myself, Josh. Hell yeah. Love it. All right. Let's get back to the... Let's, let's see what else we got here. Oh, the UFC would never... Are we nervous? 
Look at this caption. UFC would never put their best five fighters against the PFL's best five fighters. We have equal talent. We'd win half, and they'd win half. That's why Dana Scared would never do that. Is this guy promoting UFC, or is this guy promoting the PFL Battle of the Giants card? I haven't heard AJ McKee's name out of his mouth once. I haven't heard Paul Hughes' name out of his mouth out of his mouth fucking once. AJ McKee is the future of this company. Guy's got spunk, finishing ability, charisma. A character is young. He's a beast. A good look to him. American guy. Haven't heard his name fucking once. Disrespectful. Okay? Chris Cyborg fucking hates you. Look at her Twitter. Look at her Twitter feed. Fucking hates you. You're a bum. You suck. Kayla Harrison fucking hates you. Francis Ngannou only signed there so he could fucking box and make $100 million. And now that he got knocked out cold and he's got two more years in his career, he's like, you know what, whatever. I'll fucking clean these morons out. They'll pay me $2 million for a fight. They'll make no fucking money. And I'll go run to the bank, happy-go-lucky. <laughs> Look at my life. Tyson Fury, AJ fight, fucking cleaned out PFL. You know, maybe Dana and uh, Francis are in cahoots. Maybe Dana sent Francis over to PFL just to charge them three mil a fight with shitty promotion against a crappy opponent to clean them out, to wipe them cold. Goodbye. Bankruptcy. You gone. See ya, Don. Bangles suck. UFC's top five fighters. <laughs> All right. Who who in PFL is going to beat Dreykus Duplessis? Who? Johnny Eblen? The guy who almost just lost to Impa Kasanganai? Nearly and arguably lost to Impa Kasangana. Johnny Edwin's going to be Dreykus Duplessis. Really? What's he going to do? Wrestle him? Derek Brunson couldn't do that. Robert Whitaker couldn't do that. Johnny Edwin's going to do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ilya Toporia. Who's going to fight him? Jesus Pinedo. He's going to fight Ilya Toporia. What about Max Holloway? Jesus Pinedo. Pitbull. Patricio Pitbull. At age 40, he's going to fight Ilya Toporia. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Tom Aspinall, Cyril Gunn. Who are they, they going to fight? Anton Deliha, Moldovsky. Who are, they, who are they fighting? You know, Yuri Prohashka, Alex Poetan Pereira. Who's he fighting? Who's, who's, who's uh, Poetan fighting? Who you got for him? Who you got? Who you got? Impa Kasangadai? Wasn't he your light heavyweight champ last year? Josh Silvero, right? Wasn't that the championship? Sadabusi, right? Sadabusi, I'm, I'm pretty sure, right? Against Poton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, lightweight uh, <laughs> is on Makashev. Who you got? Uh, Aban Mercier, guy retired. But pretend he didn't. Olivier Aban Mercier is on Makashev. Who you got? <laughs> I mean, what are we doing here? I don't even know who their lightweight champion is now. That Mercier retired. Oh, Uzman Nurmagomedov <laughs> against Islam Makashev. No. Just no. No, 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 no. You're an idiot. Patchy Mix against Umar Nurmagomedov. Patchy Mix against Marab Devajvili. Patchy Mix against Sugar Sean. I, I'm a Patchy Mix fan. I'm a Patchy Mix fan. The only people on PFL that I believe could beat any UFC guys are AJ McKee, Vadim Nemkov, and I mean, I think that's pretty much it. But let's see what he has to say. About Francis, made him nervous about this outcome. No, professional fighters league is different from the other guys. The other guys are promoter driven late. And they have stakes in certain fighters winning. They put a lot of investments in sugar. Yeah, it's called winning money. That's called getting money, you fucking idiot. Putting a product out that the people want. It's called promotion. Promoting your fucking fights. Not like, oh, we got a tournament, you know. The best fight the best. And it's this cool tournament model. You know why that works in NBA, March Madness? Because people are invested in the teams. People are lifelong fans of these teams no matter what. You know what I'm saying? They enjoy these teams. If they're terrible, if they're good, if they're bad. When they're fighters, nobody has any investment in the shitty fighters or the mediocre fighters or even the top-level fighters. 
Nobody has any investment into them. So there's no fan of lore to, oh, I have to go watch this tournament. Yeah, if it's a tournament of the top guys, if you put some of the UFC lightweights into a tournament for a BMF, you know, a Dan Hooker, a Dustin Poirier, a Justin Gaethje, a fucking Charles Oliveira, a Tony Ferguson in his prime, a Michael Chandler in his prime. Sure. Yeah. Oh, oh baby. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Sign me a full cup, yeah. Get the fucking emergency loan, yeah. Get the emergency loan. I'm staying up all night. Oh, fucking night for that show, yeah. No one cares about Josh Lovero rematch, buddy. No one gives a fuck. We just don't give a fuck about Liz Carmouche Velasquez trilogy. We don't care. It's not rocket science. You have to make the people care. That's what promotion is. Why do you think WWE works, pal? It's fake fighting, and somehow they're more successful than you. Because they make people invest in the storylines, enjoy the talent that they have on the roster, and want to see the talent they have on the roster. Not just, oh, you know, it's the hardest competition in MMA. No one fucking cares. I could go do MMA. It'd be hard as fuck. Nobody would watch. Zero people. The hardest competition for MMA for our regional guys is just a fight on the regional scene. That's hard as shit. No one's watching. It's fucking business, bud. Shane O'Malley. Got to go back to fucking AOL, pal. Get some new hair, bud. <laughs> they worked. Make sure he wins. Make sure he wins. Make sure Sugar Sean wins against Pierre Dion. Okay, yeah, you know, questionable decision. But he still went in there and fought the guy. Didn't get stopped. Make sure he wins. Aljamain Sterling, sure, they stacked the deck. But he still went in there and fought the fucking guy. Make sure he wins. They didn't put him up against Josh Slovero for two times. You fucking douche. Yeah, fucking douche. Best line of Mark me hoping he's the next Conor McGregor. And then he falls flat, and they're disappointed. Falls flat. Fuck, dude. This guy's a fucking moron. You know what falls flat? Your PFL championship pay-per-view in 2023. Shit sucked ass. You had five five-round fights on the card. Fucking shit lasted until 3 a.m. I paid 50 bucks and voided the boys over like, huh, these guys all suck ass. You guys don't know any of these fighters, but trust me, we're going to see some action. Everybody was fucking asleep by the second fight one to ditch. Hey, what else is going on? Anybody at the bars? Oh, I really got to pay for half these fucking wings? These fights suck. Miserable. Miserable product. Miserable. If you guys had any fucking brain cells, you would match make properly with the Bellator roster and the PFL roster. What are you fucking doing? What are you doing? Wake the fuck up. That's not what Professional Fighters League is about. We're a fighter-driven league. The fighters control their destiny. If they win, they advance. If they win four times, they become world champion of the league season. A million dollars in the belt. I don't control anything here. I don't have favorites. I root them all. Oh. We know that, bud. We fucking know that, pal. It's going down like a fucking rocket ship. And by the way, where's Jake Paul? I thought he was fighting out uh, 2024. Where's Amanda Serrano? Huh? Clarissa Shields, that worked out. Where the fuck are these people? You're getting Brandon Lochnane 25 main events. If I wanted to see Brandon Lochnane fight, I'd watch Dana White's Contender Series every fucking Tuesday. Which I do. How many PFL Tour events have I watched? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Zero. Don't even know where to find the Bellator events. Max? I don't fucking watch Max, pal. That's what makes professional fighters be so great. Fighter driven versus promoter driven. Uh, shut up. Doesn't matter who wins and who This guy's annoying the shit out of me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What happened when they faced Bellator? They faced fucking Bellator and went one and five. One and fucking five. When they went Bellator, PFL, PFLator, head to head. One and five against Bellator. Because Bellator had way better fighters. Usman Nurmagomedov, AJ McKee, Vadim Nemkov, Jason Jackson. Way better fighters. Aaron Pico. Who do you got? Henny Ferreira. 
Alyssa, Larissa Pacheco, Clay Collard. You're really trotting out Kate. Clay Collard for a fucking main event. You're trotting out Clay Collard for a main event. Clay Collard. Oh my god. This is fucking miserable. What a fucking idiot. I was going to look at this, uh, you know, Peter Murray shit, but it's not even worth it. I'm sick of these guys. I'm tired of these fools, seriously. Oh, my God. Did I have this wrong the whole time? 